Okay, welcome back. So solar is definitely going, residential solar specifically is going through some tumultuous times. Um, a lot of industries are right now, uh, just because interest rates and economy and world events, it's, it's very, very crazy right now. Someone the other day was posted this response, someone on a, on a very influential financial advice show came on and asked, should I go solar or not? And uh, it triggered me, <laughs> totally did, uh, full disclosure. So um, I wanna react to that video and just go through it. Obviously I'm biased in solar and I don't say solar is for everyone. Like there's a lot of people out there that solar is not a good option for. This probably isn't the case and we're gonna show you exactly why. So we'll play the clip and we'll just react as we go. So before I found you guys, I was in the process of getting uh, solar put on my house. And in doing that, I was taking on a home equity loan. So everything you know came back. I've been listening to you guys. I'm on Davies. So pause it there real quick. So he's doing a home equity line of credit, HELOC, to go solar or to finance the solar system, right? So solar does have an, an upfront, like there's an outlay of cost there. I mean, you could pay for that upfront or you could finance it. Most people use like a, a traditional solar loan, like Goodleap. That's like a, the biggest company out there. Um, but some people do use HELOCs. It's just as competitive a financing, just as option. The reason most people don't do it, do, don't do it though, is because it's just more work and a bigger process to do it. Anyway, but it's still competitive. It's good to do, just kind of on, put that disclaimer as we go through this. I'm kind of at a point where I don't know if I should go through with the solar loan and get the solar put on because I'll be saving money on utilities. I should just Here we go. Will, Will, Will you're, you're too smart for this, buddy. Yeah, that, you know too much now. Yeah. You're saying I, it's not I, too I, late I to back out of this nightmare. No, I'll lose 300 bucks, but it's it's not a big deal. Okay, so first thing, the guy went too extreme too fast. So he didn't even listen to like what the options are. So that first just tells me like, okay, he's not taking all the information and making a decision based off of like a lot of different factors. He's just like anti this one thing because he's anti this one thing, regardless of like the data. That's my first initial thing. Like it's a nightmare. Like, well, why is it a nightmare? You don't even know. Like you think solar is a nightmare period because solar is a nightmare. Like that's not a good way to make it like determine a decision or advice. I'll pay that stupid tax to not pay a much bigger stupid tax by taking out this HELOC to pay for solar. What's your utility bill? I'm an HVAC guy, so I put heat pumps in. This year, this month was $512. Give me the uh, average so just, if you divided it out average, over 12 months. It's not 500 bucks a month. No, if I average it out, it's probably 300 Okay. $300 utility bills, no joke. That's $3,600 a year. That's a good chunk of money, okay? And again, unless somebody has some other utility somewhere else in the world that I don't know about, once you send money to the utility company, it's never coming back. Like it's not going to pay for something like anything. It's just, it's gone. $3,600 gone every year. The rates are going up and we've seen that drastically. If you live in America, if you live anywhere in the world really, like energy rates have skyrocketed the last two years. So $3,600 minimum and rates go up. Okay, so he's not factoring in the rate increase. What are you saving yeah. with the It'd be 30 bucks a month. You're saving 30 uh, bucks a month? Yeah, it'd be 270. Okay. This hurts my brain. How does savings hurt your brain? <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Which is 360 a year you're saving? Well, right. But then when the loan's paid off, I won't have to pay for electricity Hold, Okay. At all. How and much, what's the HELOC you were going to take out? This guy knows too much. Like he's he's complaining that the like the caller has too much information. Like this guy's trying to factor in like interest rate, whatever. It's like no, the the payments like what the payment is. I think he's gonna ask me more questions here. Let's let's see. It was thirty seven, I believe, thirty seven thousand. What's the interest rate? Variable probably. No, no, it was fixed at uh, three point nine nine. Okay, so it's a fixed interest rate. The HELOC he's pulling out is thirty six thousand dollars, whatever it is, and he's not mentioning that he's getting a tax credit on the thirty six thousand bucks. So he's gonna get thirty percent back on the thirty six thousand. That's money back. They're not taking into the calculations as well. Like that's a big chunk of change. Like come on, you were going to take out a thirty seven thousand dollar loan at 4% interest to save $360 a year. No, 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 there's a tax credit on top of that. I'm not smart on math. Someone else is gonna laugh at me for doing this, but so 36,000, 10,800 bucks. 10,800 bucks, dude, that's what he's getting back. Like, did you factor that in? Obviously I'm getting triggered. Not gonna have an electric bill. You're not gonna be alive by the time you ROI on this thing. True. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, this is what really triggered me. What is your ROI? This is why I wanna like scream through the phone. Like, what's your ROI in the electric bill? It's negative, like you're losing money every month. A 10 year ROI, a 30 year ROI, a 100 year ROI, it doesn't matter. Anything is better than a negative ROI. End of story, period. The only reason you would think that is if you think the utility bill is an asset and there's no way it's an asset, it's 100% liability. Anyway. Look, I'm doing the math for you. I wish the, the guy trying to sell you the HELOC did or the guy selling you the solar. 37,000, right? 
not even counting interest. It would take you yep. 102 years to break even, Will. No, interest is built into the payment. Ugh. So let's do the math. Let's say it's the 36,000 minus 10,800. So he's got a $25,000 loan. Let's say there's interest on that. I'm like gonna just shoot a random number out. Let's say let's say he pays $32,000 on it. Let's make math easy, 30,000 bucks, okay? So $30,000 versus a $300 electric bill. So 300 is $3,600, 30,000 divided by 3,600. Not counting rate increases, his ROI is eight years. Like 102 years, like dude, where'd you get the math on that? You just pulled that out of your hat and said it was a magic trick, but it was like totally off. Eight years is your ROI. That's the math. 34. Do you plan on living? to be 136 years old, to see the light of day when you oh, ROI man. on this. The thing that frustrates about this most, like the guy, he's making the guy feel stupid. He's doing like, not even back of the napkin math. He's just doing like pull out of the hat math. He's making the guy feel stupid. Like the guy's like trying to come at him with good information and, and like he likes their show and then he's just making it feel stupid. Like I just disagree with that fundamentally too. Anyway. I'm right so off. riled up, Ken. I, I know, I, oh, I know. Will. it's ridiculous. Will, did you hear what George said? I mean, the, the, if there's only one thing you heard by calling into the show today, and I'm glad you did and glad you're a new listener, is the amount of time it would take you to ROI on that $37,000. A hundred plus years, he said. Do the math, dude. Check his math. The sales guy didn't tell you that. But I got no, an idea. No, I was just thinking I wouldn't have an electric or a heating bill but that's come, not, but that's, know, 10 years from now. But that's <laughs> not true. You would still have a bill. There was I'll a national me. news program that did a whole story. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, he'll have like a connection fee bill. Like, dude, I've seen thousands of solar customers. They have their bill. Their usage goes down like... Nothing, and they just paid their connection fee. Okay, it's a ten-year, it's a ten-year HELOC. We found that out. So let's go back to the math. Two seventy a month times twelve times ten years, thirty-two thousand bucks divided by thirty-six hundred. Nine-year ROI on the money. Nine-year ROI, not counting the tax credit. That's not counting the ten grand. So he gets ten grand on top of that. So way quicker to ROI. There's still a cost. Like it doesn't completely wipe your energy out. You need to do the research on it. Actually, you don't because we already explained why you should eat the 300 bucks and not solar. worry about it, right? I'm sure the solar panel yeah. salesman told you otherwise. Yeah. But I just did some third grade napkin math. Yeah, you did do third grade napkin math. But I have an idea. Right. I have an idea to lo to to lessen the sting of eating the $300. You're going to eat the $300. Okay. You're not going to go into debt for it. You're going to cash flow some solar walking lights along the front path of your house at Lowe's <laughs> or Home Depot. Now you got some solar yeah, energy and you feel good. Solar right. walking lights. This is why when we walk home, people are uneducated about solar. Like, I'm going to show some solar bills that, like, literally show a zero dollar bill. I can put this on the screen right now. It works. People, like, people actually do zero out their consumption. Now they still have connection fees. That's still there, you know, but those are minimal 10, 20, at the most like 30, $40. These guys obviously haven't done the research on it at all. You need to do the research on it. It's a huge disinformation campaign. This whole solar panel thing is the next great scam. It really is. Yeah. And people are falling right. for it because they're going, well, I, uh, yeah, utility bills are high. I could save a, a quick buck if I do this by going 40 grand into debt and ROIing 100 years from now. And I was taking into consideration my heating bill because now I've got heat pumps in the house, heat pump water here. So I was like taking that into consideration as well. You know, my heating bill during the winters. All the more reason to go solar. I found you guys. I'm like rethinking everything. I'm so glad. You <laughs> did. Well, here's the deal. You could save up $37,000 and pay cash for it. And then you got what you want without the hundred year borrow. Okay, okay. 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 Save up cash for it. Great. Pay cash for solar. The guy's like contradicting himself while he's talking. He's saying, Hey, if you go solar, you're still going to have a utility bill. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 30 seconds later, a minute later, if you go solar and pay cash, then you don't have a utility bill. No, 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 no. The utility company, if they have net metering, they don't care if you pay cash or finance. They don't ask that question on the interconnection or agreement. They just say, hey, what's the size of the system? Yada, yada, yada. Cool. And once you start like producing energy on your house, it like reverses the meter and then you get a credit for that. And then that credit is what lowers your bill, right? Because you're producing, you're pushing energy onto the grid, not pulling energy from the grid. Kind of basic math, uh, which they can't do. He's contradicting himself. He's thinking, oh, cash gets rid of your electric bill, but finance doesn't? No, it's the same deal. One's just broken over time. So the amount of time it's gonna take him to save up, the, well, he's, the guy's making a good m chunk of money. He probably could, should pay cash for it, but because then you're, you're, you're free of interest, which is not a bad deal. But for the those that can't afford it, during that whole time, you're sinking money into the utility company. The reason you go solar is like, this money you're already paying every month. Let's like lower that bill and pay off an asset. It's like the same analogy is like, I'm renting a house. I have enough money to finance a house, but I don't wanna finance a house. I'm just gonna rent a house until I have enough, enough money to pay for cash, cash for house. If you follow that logic, it's gonna delay the amount of time you have until you buy a house. And you're just gonna sink the money into rent versus owning your house. 
so totally flabbergasted these guys. I don't know why anybody would like after this, like I don't can't trust any of their like their basic math. That's all I got. Go solar. Do the math. <laughs> worst comes the worst, call the utility company. The person that doesn't want to go solar and ask them how net metering works. The utility company is going to tell you if you put solar on your house and it produces X number of kilowatt hours and you consumed X number of kilowatt hours, you'll zero out your consumption. You'll still have to pay any utility charges, but you zero out the consumption. You get rid of most of the biggest chunk of the utility bill and you're saving money. And if the bill you pay to the utility company on with rising rates is higher than the solar bill, the finance bill, you're saving money and building an asset. I don't know how that doesn't make sense. Anyway, that's all I got. Bill Solar. We'll see you next week. Subscribe. Appreciate you.